doing the stratosphere. Here are our planets over here. This is our verse. This is our rocket, which we've been studying our vocabulary words. Here is the moon, our little astronaut. Um, and this is what we've been using. So we had the basic chalk colors here and it wasn't really enough. So we used what we could and then I remembered that we had these soft pastels. So we decided to use those and they worked out really well. I did a test first to make sure they would come off the wall. And they did. I don't, they did in small amounts. I'm hoping that they come off in big amounts, but we'll see. And we basically pulled out information from these books that we've been using to add to our studies. So this was the Build a Rocket, and this is the Blast Off on a Mission to Explore Space. So we picked out the information we wanted to use. Cameron's using, he selected a color palette here. <laughs> they are reading. Um, on their Get Epic app, I think. You like it, Cam? So a few of the unit picks for this space unit. This is our Build the Rocket. You know, we have a lot of these. We really like them. They're a great addition to our unit studies. Um, and it has a lot of fun information inside. So we've been stuck a lot on the space race and the solar system. Um, and these were a great price from Ali, so they were totally worth it in my book. Then some of the things that we, um, we did, some of their work from the unit, I love it so much. Um, we, you know, we started off with Neil Armstrong in the Who Was book, or Who Is book. And, um, these are a few of their spacecrafts that they made during that time. I love it so much. Um, inside of our notebooks, they just have a few chapter book entries. They like to do a lot of their writing in chapter books, and I love that. <laughs> um, none of these writing, you know, writing assignments were prompted. Um, I just let them write, and it's normally a combination of some real facts <laughs> about whatever we're studying, and then it is laced with a lot of their imagination. And so I let them go with it. I try not to correct a lot. Um, I figure we can go back and correct later. I just really want them to enjoy writing. So inside of these notebooks are their vocabulary words. Every unit we choose um, words for our vocabulary that goes along with our studies. They just write them once a day. Then I found these cute little printables, my moon book, and the phases of the moon. I just thought it would be nice to add in there for a little bit of coloring, especially for the little one when she needs a little extra something to do so we can actually move along in our studies. Then there are a few books that I wanted to make sure I got in some women in science, women in space. I used my women in science book Again, nothing super prepared. I just sat and read through some of the entries to introduce them to some of the women in space. Then we have our blast off on a mission to explore space. <laughs> this is the Factivity book that I'm sure lots of you have seen. One super cool thing about our space unit is we actually got to put together and use this National Geographic telescope that was lended to us by our neighbor. Slow Mo Mount Telescope. I had so much fun putting this one together with my son Kendall. He was such a huge help. It is really such a joy to watch him read and follow the instructions. I just, I really enjoy putting things together with my kids. So this was fun. Okay, now what does it say, number five? Number five, you put the telescope. Oh. There you go. I got it. Let's go. Back to our build a rocket. The kids took the pieces out after we read a little bit of the inside pages. We have been really enjoying these build kits, but I have to admit that these can be really, really frustrating if your kids aren't super patient and, you know, willing to spend a little extra time <laughs> figuring it out. D2 and E2 and F1. 
The mighty Saturn V rocket was built to send American astronauts to the moon. It was a giant. It stood 363 feet high on the launch pad and with its fuel tank full ready for takeoff. It weighed more than 3,000 tons. The ground shook for miles when its engines fired and no one has built a bigger or more powerful rocket since then. Woo, the space race. Hey Cam. Hi. Do you remember learning about the space race? Yes. Where did we hear the space race recently? Uh, Neil Armstrong. When we were reading about Neil Armstrong. Does anybody remember what it was? Yes. Whoever was the first one to land their foot on the moon in 1975. Each of them tried to outdo their other. So let me get this straight. So first they started off by doing a space race to see who was the first one that could get into space, right? Um, who was it? America and? Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union. And then they decided to do what? Work together. Yes! Because <laughs> it's always better to work together as a team, right? They're not made the best, so a lot of the times the cardboard pieces will start to come apart. But I get my sets from Ollie's and they are such a good price that it's worth it for me. Um, they A lot of the times they pretty much break after you finish putting them together. But they're a lot of fun. They promote teamwork. They're really cool to look at at least long enough to take a picture before they start to fall apart. Then I had a few games that I had prepared, things that I found and pinned on my Pinterest board and printed them out, laminated them, and that gave us a couple of little games to play throughout our unit studies. Um, we just had some matching, outer space matching. I had them put them in order. Um, I had them write facts about the planets to go along with the cards. They were just kind of fun to have around. Then we also had these um, space subtraction cards. The kids had fun matching them up with the correct answer. 67 minus 66. Wait, I don't make a habit out of preparing too many um, games like this. Um, because they require a lot of work and I find that they don't use them quite as much. But it's a nice little touch to add to the mix. Whoa, Mars. Sun, Mercury, Mercury Venus, Mars. Earth, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. <laughs> no, Pluto. 